This is the 7 Artisans 50mm f1.1. Yep, that's right, f1.1 and it costs less than $400 brand new. It's a solid build, all metal and it has a clickless aperture and the mount is a very adaptable Leica M. It of course covers full frame, but I will be using it with the APS-C Fuji X-T20. Also, just because a lens goes to f1.1 doesn't mean that you should always shoot at it. Because it is not where a lens performs the best. With that said, most images in this video will be shot wide open at f1.1. The images out of the lens are nice. Wide open it is of course far from tack sharp, but there's more to life than sharpness. The peaking on the Fuji together with the smooth focus ring makes manual focus easy. But at f1.1 a miss here and there is of course inevitable. The softness wide open might make some question if they actually nailed the focus at all. If that's the case, just stop down a bit. Down to f2 or even down to f1.4 it's sharper and the bokeh is creamy. Go to f1.1 and the bokeh takes on a completely different look. You can even get some lovely soap bubbles in the highlights. Some like it, some don't. If so, just stop down a bit. If we quickly compare the sharpness against the Nikon 50mm f1.8G, the difference in sharpness is clearly visible. But the Nikon is stuck at f1.8. Another thing you get in the box is tools and instructions on how to adjust the focus ring. Pretty sweet if you ask me. And a rubber focus tab that attaches with double-sided tape. I like focus tabs. It lets you focus without looking. I position it so that pointing straight down means that 3 to 5 meters is in focus at f4. Now in my mind this lens is a good deal. Definitely. I like it. But brand new, it costs in the same ballpark as the Voigtlander 50mm f1.5 when finding a good deal on it used. So if you like me feel comfortable buying used and found it at a similar price, then it's a tough call. The Voigtlander has a more solid build, but it's not as nice to focus and the aperture has stops. And I don't like the design compared to the 7 Artisans. But it is sharper, at least to my eye, especially wide open. Of course, with more than two-thirds of a stop, less light coming in. And if you can't find it used, I definitely think the 7 Artisans is a good option for something like the Leica M8. One note, as you might know, the M8 can suffer from IR pollution and the metal slide-on cap, which I normally like, doesn't work when using an IR cut filter. So I tend to skip the filter, with the risk of purple blacks on certain fabrics. So keep that in mind for the upcoming images. I think the lens performs just fine on the M8. The smooth focus ring is again nice to have for an all-manual rangefinder. So is the aperture since this camera has a good old-fashioned type of light meter and with the stepless ring I can really fine-tune it. I guess that's it, I like the lens, it's definitely a nice bang for the buck with some quirks, most of which can be solved by stopping down a bit. Check out my other videos and follow me on Instagram for new pictures every day. By the way, I just reached 10,000 followers, so an extra thank you to those that already were. I really appreciate it. Until next time, goodbye.